The new air has been in existence for a few years now. Newmar developed it as a result of some of their aging population who owned the Highline coaches. They didn't want them to lose all the amenities of those coaches, but they wanted to bring it down to a footprint much smaller so that that aging population could handle them much more easily. So for 2020, Newmar's offered the new air in a 35-foot floor plan. They have three of them. They also have three 33-foot floor plans that they've had since the inception of the coach. This one today is a 3543, a full wall slide on the passenger side with two slides on the driver's side. Let's start at the front of the coach so I can show you some more. First of all, the coach is equipped with an optional flagpole bracket so that a customer can hang their flag from the coach. Also, just below, you'll see the side view mirrors. When your blinker is on the right-hand side in this instance, on the passenger side, you'll see right down the coach so that you can see anything that might be in your blind spot. The entry door is very nice as it has the keyless entry with a lighted handlebar here that's been patterned as a swirl. Let me show you that real quick. You can turn on both the patio light for security and also the lighted keyless entry here. You can also set the code that's specific to yourself for entering the coach. This will also lock down both the entry door and all of the compartment doors below. You can also set a code so that you can just open those compartment doors without interfering with the entry door itself. You have the retractable step with stainless steel. And moving back, a lot of storage in this small coach. The first bay has a refrigerator-freezer combination. Now that can be operated with either refrigerant or freezing temperatures, not both at the same time. That's on a nice slide-out tray that's manual. Moving back, there's an open bay that's completely a pass-through for storage. So that for those items that may be a little taller, without a sliding tray, it gives you the opportunity to store those items there. In this nice wide storage area, you also have a power retractable tray that's accessible from either side. Simply push the button on the door, it will come to you from this side. And to send it away, simply push the other side of the electronic button. This makes it very easy to unload this particular storage tray, again, from either side. The next storage door opens and it has a narrow storage space for some of those smaller items that you might want to contain in the side of the coach at yet in the basement area. I should say that when the heat is on inside the coach, all of these storage areas will also be heated as well. Moving back just a moment, you have a nice TV compartment. So if you want to watch a game or do some tailgating outside in the coach, you have the ability to do that. The TV also has a Bose sound bar and is reciprocal so that you can turn it toward you for the best viewing based on the sunshine or whatever you might want to, uh, to view on the TV as far as programming. While I'm here, I'll point out also that this coach is equipped with window awnings that cover the windows themselves. Above me here, you'll see that this has a side view camera. So the coach is also equipped 360 degree view of the coach from the inside. You can look on the screen and see around the coach what's happening while you're inside. So this is a hammock bracket. You can have a post that comes in here, goes out to an A-frame that drops down, hang your hammock from there. So for outside enjoyment, if you want to rest and relax a little bit, you can do such in this coach. Maybe even watch the TV at the same time. Moving back, you have storage compartment here that's very small, um, as well as the battery compartment area where it houses the chassis battery and the disconnect for this coach. As you can see, the nice Girard awnings have been deployed here. With the sun in this position, it still gives you shade on your patio. The awnings can be controlled as they are separated front and back by a remote control. This allows you to handle it from outside the coach or from inside, whichever you prefer. 
The awnings also, from the remote, inside or out, have LED lighting. So if the awnings are deployed at nighttime, they give you very nice light on the outside of the coach. In addition, you have LED lighting under the slides, which illuminate the area as well. As I've moved around to the driver's side of the coach, one of the things to mention is the side radiator. That's a pretty big feature for a coach this small. It allows you the opportunity to work on the engine in the rear without removing a radiator. Also, you have full body paint in this coach. The height of the coach is 12 foot 3 inches, which has a little bit smaller stance than some of the larger vehicles, which is uh, commensurate with what I spoke of earlier and the aging population being able to move a coach this size around much more easily. The 35 foot coach introduced in 2020 also has a 450 horsepower. That gives you great power for both towing, handling mountains, or just simply driving across the country. This coach has independent front suspension as well, which makes the drivability very, very nice and also a great ride. The coach takes DEF fluid, and this is the compartment for that. Also, this coach is equipped with lighting on this side as well, LED lights under each of the slides. That is an option. Moving forward, you can see the exhaust. This is the exhaust for the Oasis system, which Numar uses for hydronic heat. It's a much more consistent heat than the forced air furnace that you get in some of the lower level models. Again, indicative of a more highline coach, yet a smaller coach in footprint. In this particular compartment on the driver's side, this is the water bay. So from here, you can extend your water hose which is on a retractable electric hose reel as well. Makes it very easy to retract the hose when you're ready to tear down camp and start moving to another location. In addition, we have a macerator, which is also a feature of this coach. A very high level coach function or feature that is found again on this elegant small footprint as far as the coach. I'll point out this door. You cannot open it from the exterior, but from the interior, it provides some safety and some peace of mind as it's an exit door. It has a panel that will drop down, has a telescoping ladder to go to the ground. So in the event that you need to move outside of the coach, if there's any kind of fire, heaven forbid, you have the ability to do such. This particular bay houses shore power. This coach has about a 30 foot shore power cord that's also on an electric reel. Again, tearing down camp is very easy with this. Push a button, it retracts the reel into the side of the coach. As on the other side, you have power awnings on each of the windows on this side. You'll see the roof rail here, which mimics the passenger side where you have the deployment of the Girard awnings. This just cleans up the side of the coach so you don't see things that are on the top like the air conditioner, any kind of satellite, makes a much cleaner look for the coach. The bay just in front of the power bay, you have the access for the retractable tray, again, that's operated from either side with a power button so you can bring the, the tray to you or you can send it away when you have it loaded or to unload if that would be the case. Just in front of that, is the open bay that I mentioned earlier that gives you full height storage of the basement area. You can put taller items in and, and bring them out of that particular area. And just in front of the, that is the house batteries. As we saw, we have the chassis batteries in the rear with the disconnect. This holds the house batteries for the coach. Moving forward, you see the exhaust for the generator. It's an 8KW Cummins Onan generator. And this is the compartment where you access the hood release so that you can get to the generator in front of the vehicle. Also as on the other side of the coach, you have the side view camera. When the blinker is in the left position, this will show down the left side of the coach while going down the road, eliminating blind spots that otherwise you would have. You have powered mirrors. The mirror on the top is powered from inside where you can move it around. The bottom is actually a manual mirror so that you can adjust it exactly for your height while sitting in the seat and so that you can get full, full view in addition to the cameras while going down the road. As we've moved to the inside of the little new air, you'll see as you look around the nice amenities inside. 
the cabinetry wicker glazed maple, which is an upgrade. You got the nice villa comfort booth dinette. This one is appointed with two reclining chairs with a console table between. Your day and nighttime shades are all electronic with the push of a button. And Numar, in typical fashion, you can see the ceiling here. Yeah, all the LED lights illuminate the coach, but also there aren't any ugly air conditioning vents in the ceiling. So you get that very nice padded ceiling finish that you see here. As far as the air conditioning vents, they're hidden right down the center of the coach. So when the slides are in, you don't suffocate the air vents with the slides you have full benefit of that air going right down the center of the coach, which is also a very high line and nice feature. In addition, we can talk about the tile flooring that you can see, and these are all heated floors. So you have several different zones for heating. We have a pop-up TV behind the booth dinette here, televator, if you will, with a push of a button. And as I speak about push of the buttons, I should let you know that all of the controls for the shades, for the lights and everything are a very nice display that's a touch pad that you can actually raise or lower the lights in the coach. And of course it does uh, function as your ability to raise and lower the day and nighttime shades. In this particular coach, you have the silhouette daytime shades, filter the sun, but um, very, very nice feature of the coach also, and also a Highline feature that you'll see in many of the Highline Newmar coaches as well, again, brought down to a coach in this size. You have a nice accent with the basket weave wood here on the sides, and uh, just a beautiful, beautiful, very luxurious, very comfortable coach for, again, the Highline coach buyer that wants something in a smaller footprint. As I mentioned seating in the coach, you can see these very nice cushioned recliners. You can move them anywhere in the coach. You can pull them away from the wall with the console table in between with some storage and cup holders. As you see in the, in the top drawer, the bottom drawer will house storage, which you can never get enough of in any RV. And then the overhead storage as well. You see the very nice light sconces on the wall. And as I referred also to your light control display, everything's right here in the touch pad. You can raise or lower the light brightness from the touch pad. You can actually turn on and off any of the lights in the coach from here. And uh, the driver's seat and passenger seat, like in most Class A coaches, can be turned around. These have the nice footrests, so they can also increase your seating capacity as well as comfort with a footrest that comes up just as these recliners do. As you can see on the passenger side of the coach here, we have the nice Villa Comfort Fit Booth Dinette, which also doubles as an additional sleeping surface in the coach. Behind it, there's a Televator TV. For 2020, Newmar's moved to all Samsung TVs throughout their product line. In addition, to overhead cabinets on the driver's side, we have plenty of cabinet space on the passenger side above the booth dinette as well. And I think you'll find that you've got storage throughout the coach that's very ample for a coach this size and also for your belongings. In addition to storage underneath each of the booth benches. In the living space, you also have the Bose Solo 5 sound bar to create a nice, rich sound in the living space of your coach. As we move to the mid coach area, you can see how Numar has put some nice glass china cabinet here in the side, as well as storage below. And then also we have a central vac system in the coach, whereby you can simply take a broom and sweep it to this area, turning it on, taking it down to the unit in the basement, or it has a hose kit that comes with it and you can pull the hose throughout the coach to clean the coach as well. As we move to the passenger side of the coach you'll see the kitchen here uh, along with some very high-end appointments to the kitchen as in this residential faucet that you see as as well as a stainless steel deep basin sink so tidying up is very easy in the coach. One of the few 
few things that Newmar's added to the product line is a nice galley window here, which brings in a lot of natural lighting. And uh, you have your overhead cabinets here with pull-out drawers. So it makes easy getting to the back of the cabinets and those things that you need from that space, as well as a nice microwave convection oven. And then the removable cooktop. A lot of people ask, well, where's my outdoor kitchen? Well, this is pretty much your outdoor kitchen. Very functional from the cover perspective because the covers also serve as cutting boards on the opposite side. And if you want to cook something that would bring an odor to your coach and you don't want to do that, all you have to do is simply lift out the cooktop, unplug it, and anywhere you have a normal outlet, you can use the, the cooktop. It is an induction cooktop, so you either have to have induction pans or you have to have a plate to go between your regular cookware and the cook surface of the induction cooktop. Very safe if children are involved, because even if you have the power on, you can lay your hand on the burner. It's not going to burn. It has to have a magnetic connection between the pan and the cooktop surface in order to heat. So along with the nice amenities in the kitchen, you also have some nice drawer space, as well as a dishwasher. So again, something you'd find in more of a Highline coach, and this should be considered Highline as well because it brings a lot of those very high quality features down into, again, a smaller coach for uh, a, what was originally intended for the aging population being able to continue their lifestyle. In addition, you have residential refrigerator. So no need for propane on board. This is a fully all electric coach. So everything is run from your batteries or your inverter um, or both. You've got the refrigerator on the top, nice deep freezer on the bottom with ice, as well as a locking mechanism. So when you're going down the road, you don't lose any of those uh, items that are in your refrigerator because the doors have flown open as many of you might have already experienced in your lifetime. Moving back just a little bit farther is a nice pantry on the side of the refrigerator with pull out drawers and they're fully extendable and also adjustable. So any of these drawers could be taken out. You can change them for height based on what you have to store in there and it makes it very, very nice. Another highline feature of a coach is a silver leaf system, which this little coach has. So everything from the New Air, the Mountain Air, the London Air, the Essex, and the King Air all have this technology in them. A very easy place to come to and do some different operations in your coach with reference to your AC power, to check that, to check your DC power, your gen set, and this also has an auto gen start. So if the voltage on your coach gets to be too low, you can actually turn that on so that it increases that, that battery power uh, automatically with tolerances that you set. You can also set or check your water levels in your fresh gray and black tanks from right here. You can control climate in different zones throughout the coach. You can run that Oasis system that I referred to while we were on the outside and I showed you the exhaust. The Oasis system being the system that provides hydronic heat in the coach and you can do that from a burner side using the diesel fuel off of the coach's fuel or you can do that from the electrical side when you have shore power and you're plugged in uh, while you're camping and so uh, again brains you can run that floor heat from here and other functions setting up your clock and all of those things that you would need to do in any kind of digital program or system such as this the bathroom size for this little coach is, is quite nice. You have a nice rectangular shower with a water miser so that you can actually conserve some of the water that you'd normally use otherwise without that technology. In addition, you got a nice lighted vanity so that it's behind the mirrors, it saves space, you don't have to have any sconces hanging from the wall. You have the same nice touchpad technology for controlling the lights. And one of the biggest things about this coach and with a lot of the Newmar products is the fact that if there were a fire, instead of trying to move a window that's an emergency egress, you have the ability to simply open, as Newmar provides you, a door 
to allow you to exit the coach very quickly. From the door, there's a lower panel actually that is removable and a telescoping ladder goes to the ground. So in the 35 foot model, which we're in right now, Freightliner added another 24 inches to this particular chassis, as opposed to the 33 foot models that were available before 2020. In addition, we have a Freightliner dash here that's all digital display, as well as a push button start. You have to have the key in proximity. All you have to do is put your foot on the pedal and push the start button in order to start the coach. We're in accessory mode right now. As far as shifting the coach, everything's moved from the left console uh, from a traditional space over to the right stock. So you simply roll the dial forward for drive, center for the neutral position, and down for the reverse position. In addition, this coach has an exhaust brake, and that control is also from the right stock on the steering wheel. New smart steering wheel with phone accessibility, your volume controls for your radio, and in the display, Numar is known for our comfort drive systems. So you can change that comfort drive setting right from the steering wheel. You don't have to take your eyes off of the road. The previous dial, as you know, was in the dash space. So now it's been moved to the steering wheel for much easier access and, and safer as well. As we speak of safety, this coach also has collision mitigation in, as well as adaptive cruise control on it. So it can maintain a distance between the driver and the vehicle that they are following based on a setting that you decide. The steering wheel is telescoping and also tilting, so it brings comfort to the driver as well as controls for your mirrors, adjusting those as you like uh, to, to meet your needs. On the passenger side of this coach, a small monitor screen has been added, whereby the co-pilot can change the navigation coordinates, can look at the cameras to assist the driver in whatever way they need help. And then at the floor, there is a step cover that can be deployed so whomever is sitting in the passenger seat aren't just dangling their feet going down the road. They have some comfort while driving. The footrest on the passenger seat is also electronic and can be used while going down the road, makes it very comfortable for the passenger. And also it's got a power seat adjustment, both on the passenger and the driver's side. I should mention that last year, Newmar added a small cup holder for their desk that comes forward and up over the lap of the passenger so that they have comfort in keeping a drink and, and going down the road. In the display, which is digital also, you see the nice flat screens in the monitors, whereby you can change your navigation here, you can adjust your cameras, you can take a look at your cameras, change radio stations with the dash or with the smart steering wheel. And as you see the monitor to the right, we have some pictures of the cameras. This is where you would change the adjustment for your nice 360 camera view on the coach and this shows some of the controls and some of the views that you can see where you can see the rear the right and the left of the coach in just the one display as well as looking at the front of the coach and all the way around for that 360 camera view very very nice technology that Numar's offered in this particular coach as we move to the bedroom area, Numar, because they expanded along with Freightliner's help, the length of the coach to a 35 foot floor plan, it gave them space for a king size bed. With that also, they've added a little bit of space between the sideboards of the bed or the consoles on either side of the bed and the bed itself so that making the bed is now much easier rather than putting your fingers down alongside and pinching all of the fabric from the bedding down into the, the side of the bed. Overhead, realizing that a lot of people use CPAP machines to sleep, they have also created some space in the top cabinet with a port that comes down so the wiring can come down to the device and be plugged in from above 
the bed in this space. Again, with reference to the lighting, you have the same nice touch controls for lighting. You have a very nice rear closet here with dual mirrors that expands the length of the side of the coach here with some shoe caddies, which has been added for 2020 as a standard feature. It was ordered some 90 plus percent as an option in the 2019 models and before. So Newmar just added that as a standard feature for 2020. Newmar also went to the Splendid models for 2020 in their coaches and, and uh, no different in the Newmar New Air. You've got a nice cathedral ceiling in here. Again, with the same nice appointments in that ceiling with the padded surfaces, the LED lighting, and again, access to your supply and your return vents, cleaning up the ceiling of the coach back here as well as through the entire vehicle. So Numar has carried back into the master bedroom all of their very nice cabinetry and woodwork, as well as soft closing drawers in the drawer space. Again, all of the amenities of many of the Highline coaches have been brought down to this very, very nice Newmar vehicle in a shorter size. More people can handle it. More people feel comfortable in driving it. And Newmar's done an excellent job here. Uh, thank you for your time today. Appreciate the opportunity to stand before you and represent the Newmar product. And I hope you'll come to TransWest, visit us, and see how we can help you with your next RV.